This is the best three pieces of advice I could possibly give you, not just for running, but your entire life. And you know that I think running is the perfect metaphor for life. And everything that running teaches you, the drive, the discipline, the consistency, the work ethic, everything else, not just the physical and physiological benefits, but the mental benefits, they cross over into the rest of your life. And so they make you better in relationships. They make you better with your children. They make you better in business. They make you somebody who's, more, who's easier to respect. You're better in your career because of your running, and because of the lessons it teaches you. Running has taught me so much, and it's why I'm such a big advocate for getting kids into sport, and especially sports like running, where it's that tenacity because it teaches you so much. But these are the three pieces of advice that I would give you. And if you take these forward, just these three pieces, I think you're going to do well at anything you do. Go all in. It's literally the name of the channel. And you're in the banana zone right now. You're right at the start of your journey or you're inserting structure and speed for the first time and the rest of the training. And therefore, you're going to see massive progress. And you've got to ride that wave because once you've ridden that wave and you've got to somebody that you currently don't recognize, then you've got another ride to wave when you start sort of really thinking about your game, taking the advice of other people, maybe getting a coach and riding that second wave. And there's literally two, three, four waves that you can ride before you start plateauing a little bit and you really need to sort of think in and out. But it's the perfect time to go all in. And if you go all in and aim high, the worst thing that can possibly happen is you'll find 10 to 100 ways that it doesn't work for you before you really crack it. But if you go all in, you'll never be able to say, I didn't give it the attention that it deserves. Number two, you are a sum of all your experiences so far, and you're a sum, therefore, of the choices that you've made. And every right decision that you're making on the go all the time is a vote for the person that you want to be. So if you decide to do the long run this weekend, instead of going out with the lads on Saturday night, that's a vote for the person that you want to be. And those habits that you form are the closest things that you can get to a superpower. They literally dictate how far you're gonna get in life. It's your trajectory. It's incredibly powerful. Number three, if you've gone all in and you've inserted the habits, the most underrated next component of success is tenacity and resilience. If you have to wait for motivation in order to do something, then you're literally the person who signs up for the gym in January and doesn't go after February. That's the person you are. Whereas if you insert tenacity and resilience, it's happening, then you take that from running and you put it into everything in your life. Imagine how powerful that makes you in your career or in your business or in anything that you're trying to achieve. If that's the person you are right now. It's really funny. Because mentality, for me, is the biggest component of ultra running. It's the biggest component of marathon running or distance running. There's a physical element and there's a physiological element, but the mental side is the reason I run. And if initially it means looking stupid and you're going to maybe the track or you're going to the gym and you're walking in there and you kind of feel like I don't belong, etc., know this. A couple of months ago, I realized that there's a new guy at the gym and he was literally there every time I'd say hi to him and sort of didn't know anything more than that. And every single time I've been there, he's been there, which tells me he's been there more frequently than me. And eventually, like two weeks ago, it was just me and him in the gym and I saw I went up to him and um, I, I said, how's it going and what are you training for? And I was really intrigued as to you know, all of a sudden, this guy had inserted the habit and it was hard formed. And he, he said that he was just trying to lose weight and uh, he's starting to see the results now and started to see more energy in his life. And he asked me, it, it was really funny, but he asked me, he sees me in the gym all the time and I'm on the treadmill, I'm doing weights. And he was like, you're already in the shape. Why do you need to go to the gym, basically? And it literally made me laugh because he told me that I inspired him. And... I said it's so funny because I come in and I see you on the bike and for me that's inspiring. It's inspiring that you're getting up and you're doing it and you're here before I am often and you're still here when I leave. And that is inspiring. When it's, when it's a marathon and you've got the guys at the front, it's impressive of course to see a Kenyan running 202, 204. 
What's really inspiring is the people that it doesn't come natural to that are trying to break four hours for the, for, for the first time and they've maybe tried 10 times before. That's inspiring because it doesn't come natural to them, but they make it happen. And it tells a story. And this is why you get so much respect from your colleagues when you're into running or you're into fitness, because it tells a story about what you are like in other facets of your life. That is the mentality that you take forward in everything you do. So in summary, go all in. Just go at it and do not let anybody stop you. Insert all the habits that you can then take to build a champion, to build a winner. And then tenacity and resilience. Just do not stop until you make it happen. Or as George Mills, the famous 1500 meter runner, as his dad told me, who was a footballer, drive, dedication, determination. Drive is your all in. Dedication, your habits, discipline, consistency, determination, tenacity, resilience. If you've got that, you are onto a winner.